Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Tricentis Tosca SAP Automation. So this is our lesson 11 where I'm going to teach you how can we use a standard module called a status bar module. SAP status bar module provided by Tricentis Tosca. And also I'm going to teach you how can we verify the message and message type that displays on the SAP status bar. And also I'm going to teach you how can you verify the dynamic text that displays on the status bar. And then how can you store the dynamic text into a buffer from the SAP status bar. Okay, so it is recommended to visit my previous session which is a session 10 where I have explained you how to automate the test cases that involves the SAP toolbar and then SAP menus. Okay, so now let's jump onto the system and see how can we automate the test cases that involves the verification of the messages and message types from the SAP status bar. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you. Okay, so this is my Tosca latest version 16. So in my previous session, uh, we have done uh, the exercise of SAP toolbar uh, and SAP menu in our previous session 10, right? So to explain you SAP menu, what we automated, let me show you, okay? So we logged into our SAP GUI. Once you log into SAP GUI, we navigated to slash n va01 that will be landed onto create sales order initial screen correct so now and here i'm typing my order order type or uh, sales organization as 1000 distribution channel 12 and division 00 and then hit enter as soon as you hit enter you will be landing onto create standard order overview so what we did, we provided all the create standard order overview details and then, so let me just quickly go through this, okay. PO number 1, 2, 3 and then item we provided as, okay, we provided as 2 and then material M08, right. And then the order quantity is 5 and then we provided a unit as ST. Okay. So once we did, what we did, we actually hit enter. And then as soon as you enter, we have gone to this go to menu. And then I showed you how to drive this menu also, right? How to click on go to, how to click on header and then how to click on sales. Okay. So in my previous session, we automated till that time. See here, if you see in the menu, go to header sales. So we automated till here. So now as per our current agenda, how can we handle status bar and status bar messages, right? So let me show you the scenario that we are going to automate first. So as soon as you land here, the sales order, what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the document date as one future date. So let me select as 28 future date. Once I select this, I'm going to save this sales order. As soon as I save the sales order, if you see on the screen at the bottom left corner, okay, there is a message says standard order. 72093 has been saved. So in this message, you can see a green tick mark. This is your message type success. And this is your message. Here, standard order is a static text and has been saved also a static, static text. And 72093, this is your order number, which is a dynamic text. So now let me show you how can we verify this message which is called as status bar okay how can i verify the message on the status bar and how can i verify the success message on the status bar 
and how can I handle the dynamic portion of your order number? Okay, that is what we are going to learn. Okay, so let me go back to task I again. And here, so once you land on to stay sales, what you need to do, you need to provide the future date, correct? For that, here, let me create a new folder called, okay? Let me create a new folder called header data. Header data, okay? Header data. And here, let me, if you remember my previous sessions, we already scanned all the controls that are required. If you see here, this is where we enter the data date field of future date. Okay. So drag this and drop here. And then name this as, name this as create standard order enter date. Okay. Name this as, okay. It's already there. Create standard order enter date field. Okay. Here, let's enter the date document date as what is future date 28.04.2023 this is what I want to enter so once I enter what we did once I enter the date I hit on save again this is from the standard module called SAP toolbar that's what you need to call right so now let's drag and drop your standard module SAP toolbar let me so this one SAP toolbar drag and drop so once you enter the data I'm gonna click on save so now select save so as soon as you hit save your status bar will appear on the screen see this status bar will appear so now for status bar, so let me go to standard modules. Okay. If you go to standard modules here, there is a new standard module called status bar. Remember this, we are in standard module. So this status bar, actually, let me just bring this here to make sure to cover the concept. Okay. Drag and drop here. So if you see here, this is my SAP status bar and let me bring the description also column chooser and then double click on description okay so if you see here this status bar okay this one is a message message means this standard message this is the message okay message control and this is your message type control what are all the message types this one is success see, this symbol this is success and you have warning, error, about and info. All these different types of messages. Okay. I'm going to verify for today's session. We are going to confine to message and message type verification from the status bar. Okay. So now let's again bring this module to right side and let's go here test case. Now I want to drag and drop this in the header data. And here your status bar. Now, what is the message? First, let me message type. Okay. My message type is success message. Correct. So that's why I'm going to select it as success because this is my success message. Correct. And what is the message that I would like to verify? Standard space order. Let's verify. Standard space order standard order but here this is your order number which is dynamic so now how can you store this dynamic value to your buffer what i'm going to do i'm going to exclude this first i need to exclude how by using xb exclude and then i'm going to store it into a buffer called order number okay so i'm excluding XB means exclude in the verification while verifying and store that into a buffer called order number and has been saved. Yeah, see, I specified it as 
and here my action mode is verify i am asking to i am asking task bar to verify the status bar message standard order has been saved but in middle the order number whatever you have i am asking to exclude it and store it into a order number okay and also here the message type is a success correct the message type is success this is success and you need to verify this message type also let's verify this done i'm going to verify it and once that is done close the transaction okay how so for that let's create a new folder close transaction how can you close the transaction you simply drag and drop your sap toolbar module standard module drag and drop here and here in the search bar i need to provide let's go here so to exit in the search bar you need to provide a value spiral slash n that will exit your transaction right and then you need to hit enter so for that here in the transaction code i'm going to specify forward slash enter and then hit enter forward slash n and then hit enter that will exit your transaction and save this so now i think we are done okay i want to copy this and paste it here copy and paste it as a um, new test case okay i want to rename this as 11th session right okay so now i think that's it so now you can run the script and see if this works or not okay so before that let me exit all these okay close this log off and close your connection as well right now let's run this right click run in scratch book see it opened it's gonna log in logged in and now it opens your sales order it enters entire sales order and then your standard order information material and then it goes to sales screen it should go to sales yes now it entered your document date it saved it see it is verifying your order also so now your status bar message has been verified successfully let's go here and see the test results so this is your status bar correct under status bar see message verification successful what we expected what it came let's see if you see here my expected is this correct and my actual also is this correct perfect and what is my message type message type is success and actual value is also success correct and we stored this order number into a buffer called order number right let's go back here let's go back to my tools and here buffers if you see my order number is c 72094 which is already stored so now my order number is stored and i verified my sap status bar message also okay so that's why the standard modules provided by the sap i mean provided by tosca is very important so you need not to scan every time you are status bar from the bottom it's simple you just simple you just need to use the existing module itself to capture any kind of message to verify any kind of message okay hope you all understand the concept if you have any queries leave your queries in the comment box i'll try to respond to your queries thank you please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever i publish more videos thank you